What are the downsides of taking an NAD supplement? And I want to specifically mention Catacor NAD because that's the one that's talked about an awful lot on TikTok. I see people, I see doctors, I see researchers talking about the benefits. But when it when a company named Chromadex, called actually uh, Niagen Biosciences, actually analyzed a whole bunch of NAD supplements, including Catacor, they found that Catacor liposomal NAD 500 milligrams only had around 60% of the amount of NAD that was listed on the label. And see my other video if you want to see all the other NAD supplements that failed testing. Uh, but now we have another independent lab that has tested Catacore supplements. This is actually Consumer Lab, and they looked at the Catacore Core supplement. It contains 250 milligrams of liposomal NAD, and they likewise found that this supplement only had about 64% of the amount of NAD that was listed on the label. That alone should be full stop for anybody considering it an NAD supplement. But there's another thing that to be aware of that I don't hear anybody talking about, uh, and, and it is this. Researchers do find that when you take an NAD supplement, you don't effectively significantly raise your NAD. And I want to be clear, I'm talking about taking the NAD molecule itself. I'm not talking about nicotinamide riboside or NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. Those studies, there's a lot of research showing both of those products will raise NAD. But taking the NAD molecule itself does not effectively raise NAD. Why don't I hear anybody else talking about that? All I can say is that I'm not selling you NAD. I'm just looking at the research and so you don't have to. So I hope this helps.